Okay, good morning. I think we're ready to get started. Um, thank you all for joining. So today, the Vice President of P3, Alex Burns, is joined by Ed Otis, the Regional Training Safety and Compliance Manager of STAR Group. They're going to be discussing the DOT five-year cylinder requalification and reporting within P3. Um, so with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it over to them. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Alex, and uh, as Jane said, what we're going to do is just kind of give you a, 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 just a real brief overview of a, a couple of components of P3. Uh, first and foremost, kind of the, the actual entry of the DOT cylinder inspection. This is the five-year external visual. Um, just would show exactly how that would be completed in the field, what the technician uh, would expect to see while they're completing um, that form. And then from there, we'll kind of follow that through back over to P3, share with you kind of what the, the final document looks like. And then also just a brief overview of our uh, DOT cylinder expiration report and just talk a little bit about how perhaps that can be uh, helpful to you in tracking uh, this particular project that needs to happen in tracking that workload. So I think, um, while I kind of prepare to get that rolling, I'll uh, pass it over to Ed. And I think just kind of Ed is somebody who's worked with us very closely, really since the beginning of P3. Um, he's helped us develop a lot of really important components of what we have here. So Star Group has been uh, working with us since the beginning of this uh, DOT cylinder inspection. They've got their team kind of testing it out and utilizing it and, and giving us feedback. And so we always appreciate uh, Ed's feedback, and so just wanted to invite him to kind of share some of their experiences and his expertise while we run through this today. Thank you, Alex, and thank you for inviting me, and I'm glad to be here. Um, as Alex said, we've been testing this in the field. I can tell you the feedback from our employees as Alex goes through the process has been positive. Uh, they're finding it very easy to use. Some of the things I've found beneficial from using the p3 system on something like this and testing it for them is after we train somebody on a task and they're in the field to perform that task the educator inside this program will give them guidance along the way so we're not getting a lot of calls for guidance uh, unless they're really stuck i will guide them on the information they're putting in if they don't understand what the question is it tells them how to answer it very beneficial um, the form has looked great and we're trying to figure out where do we go from here with it. This has been a paper document uh, carried around the field, comes in with coffee stains on it, it's not legible. Uh, this seems to be making it a lot more manageable and legible for our office staff to move forward with a qualification document that was done properly, uh, especially if we take on a new account that needed a qualification of a cylinder in the field and we did a visual. Um, the ease of use, the compliance for DOT, everything's looking really good with it. And hopefully Alex is gonna take us through the form, show us how easy this data entry is and how time saving it can be. All right, wonderful. Well, I'll just jump right in then. So this, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with P3 Mobile, this is what a technician or a driver is gonna see uh, when they log in. So obviously we're just, in this case, we're gonna navigate right to the inspection here. We're gonna select an address. And then a couple things, this is gonna bring us right into the inspection. Uh, you can inspect an existing container, or if you wanna add a new container, you can do that as well. So I'm gonna just, in this particular example, I'm gonna add a new container. So from here, what's worth noting is if I had um, inspected an existing container, there are data points like manufacturer, year manufactured, size, and who owns the container. These are all pieces of information that would have come across with the with the data if if it had already existed in the system. So in this case, we'll we'll enter it, but so you can kind of see we have as many uh, drop down options um, as possible to kind of streamline the the data entry here. So as Ed mentioned, we do have um, throughout P3, you'll see these little question marks. So just, I think this is probably a pretty good example. You can click on them at any time. This is what we call our mobile professor. So this is, if there's any question about what the intent is of that field, what the question is that's being asked, 
you can just click on that question mark and it's going to explain to the you know the person person completing the inspection exactly what that question is asking for so you'll always find some sort of a description like this this is basically talking about the difference between an ICC number and a DOT number, which it's going to be DOT if it was after April 1st of 1967. So we'll just select our answer here and then continue. From here, just answer a couple questions about just the overall uh, the coding. And then really, this is where we kind of get into the, the full uh, visual inspection, really kind of taking a close look um at the at the cylinder and making sure that basically running through just looking at you've got we've basically got three options for what can happen here if everything's going great you're going to be answering okay to all of these questions so if for some reason you are you, you know you're selecting that you're going to remove it from service or whatever it might be there's going to be a comment section um, at the end where you can you know the inspector can write any details that they have um, that would need that would need follow-up um, same idea just another question here about the the actual foundation and then just a couple questions about just you know just more as a reminder to make sure did you did you actually apply the new requalification date to the cylinder and then also as long as you're out there you know looking at the container if the company owned you know maybe you need different decals or just make sure everything's kind of uh, up to date there. Did you apply any decals if you needed to? And then continue. And then inspection comments, like I mentioned earlier. So this is probably going to be more if there's some sort of follow up or some sort of issue with the inspection, you can fill that information out there. And then from here, this is just a preview so that the um, the technician or the inspector who's out taking care of this um, can kind of look over their work, make sure that everything that they entered is is accurate. And then we want to get their signature on the form. And then we'll save that. So that's going to, um, since I have an internet connection here, that's immediately going to show up uh, back in desktop P3. So I think what I'll do now is kind of transition over to desktop and, and sort of show you ultimately what that form looks like, how you would get to it, and what the DOT reporting looks like. All right now, so I'll add to that. I was just going to say, I'll add to that, Alex, that a new employee in the field performing this task, to be, able, to be able to have them enter data, and as long as they have a connection, we can see it real time, go in and give them immediate feedback on what they've done, um, and coach them if they're having any problems, solves us from finding an issue a month after it's happened, and they've repeated it multiple times. We can sit on top of the employee, um, correct and improve their skills and knowledge real time, rather than trying to backtrack something that's been done wrong for multiple times. Great, that's awesome, thank, thank you, Ed. Um, so once you, once you come into P3, you can go to reports, containers, DOT cylinder expiration report. And what you're gonna see here is just sort of a, you know, you can kind of see all of your, your cylinders and what years maybe you, <laughs> this is a test database, so we've got some older cylinders that maybe still need to be dealt with but um, also you're moving forward. So here we are, we just did this five-year inspection, it's 2022, so it's gonna show up in the 2027 bucket. We're gonna head right into there, and then we'll be able to go right into this account and take a look at the inspection. So this is just, be able to see the actual PDF that's so very similar to what the technician saw in that preview that they signed, but kind of to Ed's point earlier, this is now nice, crisp, clean document, um, and you, you've got it uh, immediately available to you. So with that, I think what I'll do is I'll kind of back, um, back out to the, um, to the actual report again, um, and then maybe I'll let Ed talk a little bit about kind of, you know, a little bit more about this this part of the system? You know, the reporting, I've been looking at it and I've been discussing it with some of our locations and the ability to look forward and see what you have coming at you, whether it be, you know, next year I have a hundred containers or next year I have a thousand containers, to be able to look that far ahead and determine, do I need to pull some of these back into this year to make it a manageable situation on containers I know that need to be recertified? 
Um, I think that's going to be very beneficial for your staffing as you look forward into the next year. You know, what, what, what's my demand for requalifications next year? Even looking out two, three years, can I pull them back two years to spread this, you know, spike out and make it a more manageable situation for my employees and better servicing my customers? So I see this as very beneficial. Um, the other piece is if you're completely using the P3 system and filling out your safety inspections, if an employee goes in the field and is a customer owned tank that's due for recertification, doesn't recertify it, it's going to show up on this report pretty, pretty quickly that you have an overdue inspection. Obviously, we would promote doing that while we were on site, but if something prevented that, um, we now see that we have something to catch up on and we get that customer's container either replaced or inspected. Great. That's so I think really, you know, that this whole, you know, although this is an important process and important tracking, it's it's a pretty simple part of our system. It's um, we try to make it as easy as possible, display the data in a way that that makes it easy for you to understand kind of that that workload like like Ed mentioned. So I think uh, with that, I think if 